but I am here as an ally and and incredibly happy to be and very aware that when I speak about what I perceive as the greatest challenges, it's because I'm consumer informed, whether mm -hmm. it's my board of directors, which has a large amount of people impacted by spina bifida on it or it's just through direct service work that I'm able to connect with our consumers and really understand what they're wanting, um, what their needs are, what they'd like to see different. And a big issue, one of the biggest issues is a lack of comprehensive and knowledgeable healthcare. So it's those little wins that are showing the shift in mindset around people with disabilities having the right access to supports and recognizing their value, highlighting that value and doing it in a way that illuminates, you know, their capabilities and not um, what makes them different. All right. And I think that's coupled with um people finally are realizing that if those people, we want them to come to the table with their ideas and their, you know, their knowledge, but they can't get to the place to come to the table. So, you know, as that is the infrastructure is being more so that we can get out and do things and it's not just with work either it's entertainment or just being included in whatever we choose to be included in to october 25th world spina bifida day and we're really excited uh, we have about 24 models with spina bifida from new england and new york and they're wearing about 10 to 12 different brands and designers, apparel, shoes, clothing, accessories um, in our show. And that will premiere live in two weeks and a day. And that's just a really exciting way to celebrate, again, the industry of fashion becoming increasingly more inclusive of people with disabilities, you know, apparel needs um, and, and wants. I mean, Fashion mm -hmm. is a choice for everyone, but people with disabilities, you know, can't navigate in between the different shopping carts or they're too high and they're too close together and the clothes aren't made for their bodies. And how do they, you know, why, why is that? Why aren't we more inclusive in clothing? So um, it's a great way to really just highlight the brands who are out there, who are making a difference. And, and, you know, you see your, you see the people you serve the way you want them to always feel about themselves. You know, they, they're beautiful. They're smiling. They're happy. They look confident. And it's just everything you want um, for the people that you're working for um, in, as yeah. a director. So it's a really beautiful event. People in the spina bifida community, they'd have to worry about if the parking spot that's marked accessible would be available. If the spot next to it that they need to utilized to get into their chair would be uh, used or if people would misinterpret those blue lines as an extra parking spot close to the door and you know is that entryway accessible that means so many different things to people who don't understand that even one step is inaccessible um, and you know then the bathroom are the tables wide enough apart are their chairs taken away from tables so people who are using wheelchairs can fit and really just making people aware in, in the room that if we don't open up the table to allow for people with disabilities to be involved, then what are we, you know, why aren't we doing that? And, and really allowing people without disabilities to see where they can be allies. Um, I think that's a really big missing piece um, from the disability advocacy work I see.